What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fudge Muppet. Today we have a very interesting discussion all about the settlement DLC stuff. And, and settlement building in general in Fallout 4 and why it's a big ginormous problem. It's true because they... <laughs> I Look, can confirm. Well, we'll put we'll throw our all our stuff out on the table first. We have no issue with settlement yeah. building. We don't. We enjoy it. We enjoy it. We it's think it's cool. Fine. We talk about it's it. It's a nice little mini game. It's videos. cool. Yeah, it's cool. It adds some extra role playing stuff. And it's fun. The one thing I would say about it is that it does take up a lot of locations in the game. This is like a small to medium sized problem that could yeah. have been unique. Really cool places, but then they're sort of lazy. Yeah, they're like, so, oh, build the cool places yourself. Yeah, so instead of like Coastal Cottage, yeah. you could have been this cool little place where there's some like old with woman with and stories. With, and yeah, stuff like that. Things like that. But the problem is actually not so much well, besides that, the thing itself, it's that the thing is emphasized. It's basically it's where the emphasis of yeah, it is the problem. It's where Bethesda's focus is at. Now, what's at the core of a Fallout game? I think we could all agree that it's things yeah. like story, mm. characters, role exploration, playing. open world, quests, role playing. Yeah, yeah. I don't like this. You know, <laughs> weapons, all that kind of stuff. That's the core of Fallout gameplay, a core mm. of pretty much all RPGs. Yeah. But what happens is with all the DLC coming out, Vault you've got Dweller. This Vault Dweller. Contraptions, yep, and Wasteland we Workshop. Came out. And then our Automatron, Automatron even, yeah. Automatron was like a little bit of a quest, a few new areas, which is fine. Building a robot was really cool, but again, yeah. it's another construction. It's, a, it's another yeah. gimmick. It's, it's kind of cool, it's fine. Like, you know, some people debate on whether yeah, you love yeah. settlement building that much or not. Mm. But our problem comes from compared to older Bethesda games, yeah. you know, Skyrim, Fallout 3, and by, you know, extension, and even New, Fallout, Vegas, New Vegas. Yeah. They their DLCs opened whole new worlds, new story, new characters, new yeah. quests. Like new... You even look at New Vegas, right? Yeah. Old World Blues. Big new area, all wacky, completely different, not like yeah. anything else in the game, right? You have Honest Hearts, completely new area, all new quests, factions, all the good stuff. Yeah. And, and what was the other one? Dead even Money. Dead Money, yeah. Admittedly, that was a less favorite DLC of mine, but it was still good. It still had the yeah. story. The characters were really good. Look, even regardless of whether or not they were, you think they were good or yeah, not, yeah. They had the, the point components. is the focus. Yeah, the yeah. focus was on the areas of an RPG that are necessary. And you know, Absolutely. same thing with Operation Anchorage, Point uh, Point Lookout, The Pit, yep. Broken Steel, Mothership Zeta. Whether you like them or not, their focus was still predominantly on what makes an RPG an RPG and what makes yeah. them good and what every Fallout player wants. They want more quests. That's why we get all excited about Far Harbor and Nuka World. Oh, and Nuka World especially. Like, like, I was very glad that they incorporated the yeah. whole Raider thing. Because it's like, oh, another faction. Like, even Far Harbor, oh, had the Child of Adam. So that, that but that was good. For yeah. me, that was the highlight of Far Harbor. Yeah. Because the Children of Adam faction was done it, so well. And, and the armor and the... Mm. Interestingly enough, I feel like sometimes... Because, you know, I don't know them personally or anything, anyone from Bethesda. Yeah. But they're imparting a lot of the creativity to the player. Which is good. In, in some in, circumstances. In some circumstances, it's good. But, like, so things like modding, they go like, oh, yeah, mods will fix it and so on. Yeah, yeah. What they also do is, like, settlement building. It's like, oh, yeah, let's give them just some more tools to have fun with it themselves. Yeah. Instead of creating like, because you can't create really your own um, quests and stories because yeah, you can't yeah. do any of that. You want the actual quests, you mm. want the actual characters mm. and, and places to explore. It's sort of like, you want cool new interesting places? Fuck that, you build it yourself in this area. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's sort of imparting a lot onto the player. And like we said, Which is fun. there's pros and cons and it was fun, but say in my opinion, I would rather there be say, Five settlements. Yeah. And every other possible settlement location was a fully fleshed out, done by Bethesda themselves, location, unique characters, unique quests, all that good stuff. Not another, you know, build it your own place. Yeah. It's, 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 it's nice. And then the DLC is a build your own place set things as well. Let's just add yeah. to that. It, it was nice, but and I admittedly, think... Admittedly, like, some of them are fun. I've heard Contraptions is actually like, oh, this is fun. Yeah, but, it's, but like... it's, it's majorly useless in the end. It's fun. But what I think is... They should have focused on the story. That's our biggest problem is yeah. they took the what essentially is a gimmick or a mini game or a small segment and they took it so far and they're emphasizing it so much. Mm. And while people do love it and we like it, we're not, it, that's not our problem. We just wish that there was a bit more focus yeah. on the stuff that everyone buys a Fallout game for in the first place. Especially if you bought the season pass. Yeah, I know, the season pass. Like, uh, well, like I got it for free. 
right? Yeah. I, I'm lucky enough to get the season pass for free, but like, it, I still would have paid for it. Like, I'm like, oh yeah, worth it. Yeah. And then it went up in price, and I'm like, oh. Well, I. I they said they yeah. have all this stuff left. I think it's still worth it. Yeah. But in retrospect, I wouldn't have said it was worth I would have literally. I mean, if you like settlement DLCs, fine. But for me, I would have just paid separately for Far Harbor and Yuka World. Yeah. And probably Automatron as well. I liked building robots. That was fun. Yeah, I, I bought it but I bought it when it was cheapest. Yeah, exactly. So that I got the best value out of it. Yeah. Which is still fair and so on. But uh, I wasn't... With the price rise and the two new settlement mm. building, like, mm. I was expecting at least one other. Because, you know, there was there was five sort of... Because like, even Broken Steel added a lot of... Yeah, content and extra story and stuff. It was added. still about... At, at the heart of it, it was still about what it should have been. Yeah. Like... So that's our biggest problem. It's mm. just all about we want more uh, focus on what actually makes a Fallout game. We want fallout more game. Fallout game. We don't want yeah. Minecraft extra. Like if we wanted to play Minecraft, we'd do play Minecraft. Minecraft yeah. And while we don't mind, I don't. I just want a little more focus to some DLC. Mm. You know, mm. more and, RPG. And people are speculating maybe New World isn't the last. Maybe well, yeah. If you want to take phrasing certain ways, but I don't know. I mean, to be honest, on the bright side. I was very impressed with Nuka World after reading the Steam description. Yeah. I thought Nuka World was going to be smaller than it is. Yeah. So let's hope it's really big. You like RPG? How about you have some RPG on your RPG? That's what we want. Yeah. Instead of some, how about you have some Minecraft on your RPG? <laughs> it's like, uh, enough. It's a little too overpowering for my tastes. Thank mm, you very much. Exactly. But anyway, that's just a little... We just want to hear what you guys think. Yeah. Like, we'll have a little discussion. Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.